This episode of Tech Thing is brought to you by Dell. Robots, TVs, refrigerator, CPUs, gaming gear, and a TV straight out of a sci-fi flick. As usual, CES Press Day has been a crazed mix of products from around the globe. I'm Patrick Norton from Tech Thing. The Fremont experience has finally stopped blasting Freebird, so I can record the video for you. Let's talk about some of the highlights from day one. First up, TVs. Vizio's back at CES for the first time in years. Samsung featured a 98-inch QLED, their Q900 TVs. 98 inches! Expect that to cost like Tesla money. Oh my goodness. Uh, but they'll also have 65 inch, 75 inch, 82 and 85 inch televisions that won't be luxury car priced. And I gotta say a quick shout out to Samsung's Family Hub 4.0 refrigerator because who doesn't want their fridge to be able to give you notifications on an app if somebody, you know, leaves the refrigerator door open? How convenient is that? Even more interesting, and we're gonna get deeper into TVs, Robert Heron from AVXL and Heron Fidelity, he's gonna join us to talk about the best TVs of CES 2019, including TCL's new 75 inch flat panel that is probably gonna be the 4K HDR bargain of the year. Um, Samsung TVs are getting an app for iTunes movies and television shows, and AirPlay 2 and HomeKit are coming to TVs from Vizio and LG. It's almost like the content wars are over. It's just that somebody needs to talk to Amazon and uh, Google about that. Side note, I can't wait to get close and eyeballs on to Vizio's new P-Series Quantum X line with 480 local dimming zones and 2,900 nits of brightness. That's gonna be some intense HDR for a non-OLED TV. Now, in 5G news, Qualcomm wants the world to know that 5G is coming in 2019, in case you've missed the last 18 months of hype, and that their Snapdragon 855 chipset and X50 5G modem family has, quote, 30 5G design wins, the majority of which are smartphones. So I suspect there's gonna be some uh, smaller portable hotspot-like devices in there too. A lot of 5G flagships come in this year, obviously, uh, and the 855 platform, supports both sub six and millimeter wave spectrum in the 5G universe. Now you just need the infrastructure near you to get all the coolness of 5G. One of my big questions coming into CES 2019 was about next gen Wi-Fi. Would it be called 802.11ax or Wi-Fi 6? And were any products actually going to ship this year? TLDR, Netgear, TP-Link, and others are employing that next gen wireless spec. And they're calling it Wi-Fi 6, but they're name checking 802.11ax in case there's any lingering confusion in the market, hint, yes. Uh, in the case of Netgear's Orbi, they're using it as a backhaul. I, if I'm understanding this, and I'll meet with Netgear later today, we're gonna talk about this, uh, the backhaul that connects their mesh routers, which makes sense and should deliver even greater performance on the Orbi system. Now, to actually use 802.11x for the rest of the devices in your home, you need devices like Wi-Fi 6 laptops or phones or adapters for your desktop to connect to the new spec. And well, that just isn't here yet. A quick shout out to our sponsor Dell and the new Alienware M15 gaming laptops. Alienware's thinnest 15 inch gaming laptop ever supports Intel Core i9 processors with dynamic overclocking and Nvidia GeForce RTX 2080 Max-Q graphics capable, they say, of up to 23 hours of battery life on idle. Coming January 29th, starting at $1,579.99, 2019, gonna be a good year for gaming, people. And our thanks to Dell for sponsoring our CES 2019 coverage. So yesterday, Sunday morning, AMD announced a new Ryzen 3000 mobile CPUs with Vega cores. Today was Intel's turn to announce a slew of new ninth gen Coffee Lake CPUs coming in January, like the Core i5-9400 6 cores in a Core i5 part. I like that. They also said about 17 times they're finally completing the long anticipated move to a 10 nanometer process. Uh, they're saying it's gonna be here in the holidays, ice lake systems on a chip. Those are really interesting. They're talking about, well, actually vague new processor specs, a little tiny piece of silicon up on stage, or I should say a PCB up on stage. Um, it's a system on a chip, better battery life, better performance, uh, Wi-Fi 6, Thunderbolt 3 built in. Intel also dropped hints and not much else on Project Athena, an ultrabook-like industry spec that's gonna change the way we compute. A lot of people are thinking, given some stuff that was scattered on the stage, it's gonna be dual screens and no keyboard, maybe. Um, Intel, give us some more deets when you actually have them. Uh, and Intel actually talked a bit about Snow Ridge, which is their new chipset for 5G telecom gear, i.e., you know, the things at the base of the antennas, uh, their new chipset for 5G, uh, they expect to own 40% of that market by 2020. Big new source of money for Intel. 
I love widescreen monitors. I've got a curved 34 inch monitor on my desktop that I absolutely adore. Lenovo's Legion Y44W, a 43.4 inch gaming display that makes my 34 inch curved monitor look kind of twee. Think of um, two 1920 by 1200 16 by 10 monitors, i.e. more vertical room for the programmers out there, side by side. You can actually use uh, two inputs to have two different computers displayed simultaneously. Um, I'm really digging the 144 hertz refresh rate on this 3840 by 1200 uh, pixel panel, which is smaller than 4K, so it should be easier for less expensive GPUs to drive. Um, FreeSync 2, VESA HDR 400 certification, and a pretty wide color gamut, 99% sRGB, BT709, uh, DCP P3, like 99% DCI P3 at HDR 400. That's really impressive. I really want to see one in the real world. Uh, oh, and the pop-down USB port, pretty slick too. You can expect that Lenovo Legion Y44. W in April 2019 for, well, I'm just going to say $1,200 because $1,199.99 is really long and there will be a business version too. On the VR front, HTC announced the Vive Cosmos, a fully contained headset with tracked motion controllers for home or mobile use. That's about all we know other than that uh, developers' kits are coming soon, pricing, ship date, nada. And that's the way CES works sometimes. Some things you get little details, some things you get all the details. You can expect a ton of new laptops at CES 2019. My partner in crime, Shannon, is going to be doing a big video dedicated just to those. So keep an eye on youtube.com slash tech thing for all our coverage, including all of those laptops, AMD's big announcements at the keynote on Wednesday morning, and all the cool stuff we find on the show floor. Thanks for watching. I'm Patrick Norton, and uh, stay tuned. More CES coverage is coming.